Medborgernes Menneskerettighedskommission blev stiftet af Scientologikirken i 1969 og afslører psykiatriske overtrædelser af menneskerettighederne. Fra sit internationale hovedsæde i Los Angeles, Kalifornien, dokumenterer MMK psykiatriens aggressive og ødelæggende praksis og udgiver det, de finder på 15 sprog. Der er blevet uddelt mere end 8 millioner til sundhedspersonale, embedsmænd, læger og erhvervsledere i hele verden. I hovedsædet findes også den verdenskendte udstilling Psykiatri, Skade og Død. Bygget op omkring 14 dokumentarfilm er det en moderne udstilling om psykiatriens historie, fra dens oprindelse, hvor sindssyge blev sat i bur som dyr, til dagens medicinering af samfundet som kuren for deres opdægtede sindslidelser. Omrejsende udstillinger besøger hundredvis af byer på fem kontinenter og gør hundredtusindvis i stand til selv at finde ud af den mørke sandhed om psykiatri. Det, der nu er en global menneskerettighedsbevægelse, startede for 30 år siden med kampen for en persons frihed, Victor Gjøri, som blev tvangsindlagt på et psykiatrisk hospital i Pennsylvania. He was interviewed by a psychiatrist who said i can't understand the word this man is saying. He's incoherent. Obviously, a paranoid schizophrenic. Commit him, which they did. Now, he wasn't babbling incoherently. He was speaking Hungarian. We filed a lawsuit against the hospital. In the middle of the case, the doctor who was the head of the hospital stands up and he says, we want nothing more to do with Victor Giori. Da Victor Gjøri blev udskrevet, var han den første af tusinder tilfælde, som er blevet hjulpet af MMK. CCHR challenged involuntary commitment laws throughout the United States and internationally, and what we found was that people were being incarcerated without any legal rights. They had no right to an attorney. They could be drugged, shot, lobotomized without their consent. Et eksempel, Australien 1977, hvor MMK afslørede en psykiatrisk praksis, man kaldte dyb søvnbehandling. Patients were being knocked unconscious with a cocktail of barbiturates and other psychiatric drugs and they were being subjected to electroshock treatment daily, sometimes twice daily, without their knowledge. Deep sleep treatment had led to 48 deaths. Det var MMK, der efterforskede misbruget og afslørede det og kæmpede i over 10 år, indtil dybsøvnbehandlingen blev forbudt. I Sydafrika afslørede MMK psykiatriske lejre hvor man holdt sindslidende fange. De blev brutaliseret og derefter udliciteret til slavearbejde. I Italien samarbejdede MMK med lovgivere og medier og foretog retssager mod psykiatriske hospitaler. Forholdene på dem var barbariske, og MMK fik dem lukket. I Japan afslørede MMK psykiatriske økonomiske forbrydelser og hospitaler, der snød myndighederne og skatteyderne. De skyldige blev stillet for retten, og hospitalerne blev lukket. Og i USA afslørede MMK milliardsvindel i landets største private kæde af psykiske sundhedscentre. 600 FBI-agenter lavede retssager i 20 forskellige stater. Det førte til sagsanlæg og millioner af dollars i bøder, og hele kæden af korrupte hospitaler gik konkurs og blev en gang for alle lukket ned. Og MMK står bag hver eneste advarsel, du ser i dag, om psykiatriske stoffer. CCHR has documented the side effects of these drugs, has taken evidence to the FDA, has gone to Congress, has obtained congressional hearings. It took 13 years before the FDA finally admitted that those drugs can cause suicide and issued black box warnings. We got nine state laws passed. Following that, it was the introduction of the Child Medication Safety Act in 2004. Alene i de sidste tre år har der været mere end 50 internationale advarsler om stoffer, der afslører farne ved psykofarmaka. History has told us every workable method that could be used to help people who are seriously disturbed, 
who do need some sort of treatment has been suppressed and smashed by the vested interests of psychiatry and the pharmaceutical industry. The public's largely been getting their information from the industry that benefits on putting them on psychiatric drugs. It's an advertising campaign. It's not science, it's marketing. CCHR is causing things to change by being champions for a growing number of well-intentioned people who are risking their professional careers to speak up against the abuses of psychiatry. Having that support from a group like this has made a tremendous difference in what I feel personally that I've been able to accomplish. So I think of CCHR as, as fellow soldiers. I'm unaware of any other organization that does the kind of work that CCHR does, particularly on the, the scope and the level that they do. CCHR has been very effective at moving the ball down the field. One at a time, one state at a time, one legislator at a time. CCHR has had the resources to be able to teach and have legislators become more aware of what the problem with the psychotropic drugs are. CCHR has researched the issue. When you need the facts, you go to CCHR. Today, I'm MMK over 300 afdelinger i dusinvis af lande over hele verden. Hvor en psykiater og krænker menneskerettighederne fortæller MMK om det. Fra USA til Japan og fra Kanada til Storbritannien står fremstående medlemmer af MMK i spidsen for demonstrationer for at sikre beskyttelse mod psykiatriens overgreb. It's essential that CCHR does their job and gets the support to do their job because the extent to which they do the whole vehicle that's out of control about psychiatry gets to be contained and gets to be eliminated. It scares me to think if this doesn't happen. I've seen up close what it's like. It scares the daylights out of me. You have 100,000 people electroshocked every year. You have 17 million children worldwide taking mind-altering drugs. You have people being involuntarily committed every 75 seconds, and it's all under the guise of mental health. The only way that you are going to get humane treatment into the mental health system is to take psychiatry and the vested interests out of the picture. And only then will you see people truly obtaining mental health. You have two choices. Either you pretend you knew nothing about it, or you do something about it. With knowledge comes responsibility. That's why we're here. That's why people are joining forces with CCHR. Tusindvis af mennesker med vidt forskellige baggrund har sluttet sig til os. MMK afslører psykiatriske overtrædelser af menneskerettighederne, og vil fortsætte med at gøre det, indtil psykiatriens brutale praksis er ophører, og alle får menneskerettigheder og værdighed tilbage. Vi har brug for din hjælp. Deltag i vores arbejde. Den her